Hi guys, Sailor Mary, meet your everybody, it's Michelle Marie Delaney, and of course today is the uh, Friday, it is the um, 5th of February 2015, and I'm at the again, yes it is open, by the way we are still seeing some light snow right now at this point, nothing enough to cause us to catch the loss, and fact it's open today, and also we'll be open tomorrow on the uh, 7th, I think it is, is it? Seventh. Well, we actually look at the wall. Let's look at the wall. Okay, so let's see. Is this snow? No, what is? Okay, I guess it. Because you might as well show you this. Because this is a plan ours for the fourteenth. That's next week. Okay, it's not this week. The fourteenth, the twenty-first, and the twenty-eighth of this week. Um, this month, so it's a Saturday, Saturday, and Saturday. So, kitchen will be open from, I believe, about 10 to 1. Um, might be open at 9. I wouldn't put, I wouldn't bank on it, but you can certainly check it out yourself. Anyway, let me show you the, the current weather conditions. I don't have a thermometer on me right now, and because we don't have what, um, data on our phone. I won't be able to show you. <laughs> okay. Here we see it's snowing at Winstead. Roads look okay. Um, nothing really majorly bad. Just uh, kind of a wet, wet stuff. It's not really dry snow because it um, is a little bit on the warm side. However, in the next few hours, the temperatures will get below freezing, um, so it'll be lower than my, our zero degrees Celsius. Tonight, temperatures will be really, really cold, um, with strong wind chills bringing things down to an uncomfortable level of about minus 27 degrees Celsius potential. So, you're going to want to dress warmly, put another cat on the bed, um, keep warm. Absolutely. And I'm also happy to know that me and Michelle were able to get some of the videos up last night. Yeah, but today we're going to do some chores. We are doing housework. Absolutely. Um, so, we're going to try to get some housework done, such as washing the laundry. We got a lot of socks and underwear to wash today, so get those in. We were thinking about going to the laundromat, but you know the problem is with the laundromat, like I said to you home this morning, is the $87 we have left, and yes, I did buy groceries, so it's already been taken care of for the time being. Um, I wanted to try to save as much of that as I can because of the fact that the days the soup kitchen will not be open. I'm going to need eventually to pick up something to eat. Right now, it looks like we're okay. However, Monday and Tuesday, we'll be seeing more snow potential. Uh, how much, I don't know, and I really wish I could give you information. I don't have that available to me right now. But snow is going to be going on possibly Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Uh, thanks to that one sand list. Uh, okay, I stay right it. Not Wednesday. Not Wednesday, but Mon Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And uh, so, which means for us is that we're going to need to um, dress warmly and things like that. Did you see Michelle got her hair done? Yes, thank you. Okay. And also, I want to remind everybody that We'd love to have you ask us questions, comments, concerns, cripes, kudos, whatever you got to say. You can put it in the comment section below this video. Uh, I do know that the vlogs are not as um, polished as the um, full videos done in, in the studio, but the reason we do, we do them the way we do is because it's kind of a um, spur of the moment thing, and sometimes. Um, it's better to get something in than nothing at all. That sounds almost like a song. That sounds almost like a song. Hi. Right. Um, so, 
that's what we're going to do. I also found that something, um, what we were talking about when I'm off camera, about the, uh, for the, um, Intellimode. Right now, for those of you who don't know, we're using the key spin, uh, use a dash 49W, which is a four port, um, USB adapter. Um, unfortunately, it does not honor the CTS, RTS, or the, um, information on the, I think, the DTR. No, it doesn't. Okay, so what we wanted to do was to get a key span or get a, and that's the name of the company called, uh, we're using the FTDI chipset, RT232RL. I don't think most people really know what that is. Okay, most people know. Okay, well, basically what it is, it's a special chip that is designed to interface USB to a full uh, necessary support for RS-232 C communications. With one caveat, it's single-ended. Single-ended using SCSI parallels because it has only voltage ranges of 0 to 5 volts. Versus the standard differential or is two through two of minus twelve to positive twelve. Um which means that um I'm thinking is is that um but then so does key spin is also using the same thing, I think on the prolific chipset. Um so basically what it comes out to be is is that with the right ability we can get some things done. And here's something Michelle found out. Yes. Ready? Ready. They have a power PC Max driver. Yay! Okay, that's great. But what does that mean to the average person? Well, because it supports all the standard control lines of uh of a serial bus, it should allow you to fully interface older legacy hardware. Such as modems like the Intel modem and the Zoom 56K modem B B90 um, fax modem, so we'll be able to do send and receive faxes from the computer automatically and properly. Oh, that's great! I, I agree, that would be cool. And not only that, with the source code, it comes with the source code for the Linux driver. Um, if you use Linux, you can actually um, tweak the source code. Oh, well, we'll have to see how that works. I don't think most people really care, but we'll find out. And if anybody's ever used the FTDI um, based um, USB to serial adapters, I'd love to hear from you. And uh, I've read some good things about them, and I have, um, they look more promising than the Prolific uh, brand chipset, which is the competing chipset. So, um, that's what I'm looking into. Okay. Um, you're, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to scratch my wrist. Okay, I know. When you're doing that, you the camera shake. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Um, now, so we're going to get laundry done today. We're going to, um, work on getting, um, other things done. Mm -hmm. And... What do we do for recreation? You didn't even bring any books to read. I asked you if you wanted to bring books, you said today. You said, nah. No, because every time I bring books, they're, just, they're not recreational books. They're just, com they're, just com um, they're just computer books. And let's be honest, reading computer books is like uh, boring. It's it's not really exciting. No. Okay, so we got to get some recreational books. Yeah, we definitely should get some. And, uh... And also today we gotta go to CVS and pick up the vitamins, and we got to get some of the hygiene needs too. It's in high, right? And by the way, how's the tooth doing? The tooth is still doing okay. It's a little loose, but yeah, it's kind of been kind of loose anyway. Um, I um, uh, it's still there. It's still there. It's just, like I always try to chew carefully, especially with those. 
um, and eating anything hard like cookies or things like that. Since they're more in the back, it's it's easier to ignore or not ignore, but to not and put onto a less trust, unlike incisors in the front. Right. So for the time being, guys, we're gonna let you go. And as we said, well, I'll say this now again. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, or dislike. <coughs> Share with your friends, enemies, everybody. And <coughs> we'll read everything you got to say. We may not always write you back to you, but we will read them. Okay. So for the time being, stay warm, stay safe, stay dry. And that's soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody.